So around 1991 when this letter was uh, found from Leany to uh, John Steele addressing the three men killed in the ward house and the killer being uh, himself put to death. So this is John and Catherine Steele. That letter is from the same Leany who had the picket broken over his head because he gave Aiden some onions because his Aiden's father had helped Leany way back in I think it was Tennessee in the 40s so the reward for that was almost being killed and while you're reading in here you can read about polygamy and its effects too how the brethren are lying about each other and accusing each other you can read about that in the um, Confessions of Lee and Bagley is how uh, they get into these arguments and start accusing each other of things and then apologize to each other. And this issue of accusing and taking from each other among the brethren uh, is brought up by Lee even when they're back in uh, Adam on Diamond and getting ready to come out this way. Anyhow, the main focus here is Powell. So this is where Powell's men left the river and they went up through here. Okay, this is quite a walk. I had to come up through this way. Okay. And up through here, and it's just this general area. This is all from about 100,000 feet on Google Earth. You see it's pretty desolate. Okay, so you're moving up through here in the general sense. There's a ridge up here. And working your way up through here. It's not easy to do, and then working your way up in here, towards Torquerville, where the event occurred. Here's Torquerville. See it here? See it? Right there. Over here is Washington and St. George. So again, down here is the river, and you got to hump it all the way up through here, which is Close to a hundred miles as a birdie flies, so you got about double it, possibly even more if you're walking. There's no question they left, and there's no question they took this particular route. It's just a question of who killed them. I'm just going to take you on a little trip up here to show you what kind of terrain these three men of power are in. Okay, so when, once you take off and you walk up this stuff, you miss me? It's easy to make a wrong turn. We're just going to follow. Well, you know you're at a fork here. Where do you go? You go to the left? Okay. So we go to the left. Are you getting up on plateaus? Say you're up on a plateau. Just put yourself on top of the plateau. So if you'd gone to the left, you would have wound up in this canyon. So anyhow, we're up here. Getting up top here. The elevation now is, we started at 1,500 feet. Now it's almost 6,000 feet with a, right here. I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit. And just keep rolling forward. So you can see what these guys were dealing with. So why would they leave Powell? This has always been a big question. Because it's not addressed. Lee's Ferry is quite a ways up. They spent a couple of days with Lee. I don't remember how many days. Again, you can... I'm not certain if they were down low or up high. My guess is they were prob probably down here, but I'm not certain. Okay, but we haven't gone that many miles. So they were gone for some days, and then the Mormons sent in a telegraph, you can read about it here, saying the she-bits got them. Well, read the story for yourself. This is just some more of the same territory. You know, so the question is, why do you want to walk around in this stuff when you know you're walking into Mormon country? It's not like it's going to be a party. There had to be a purpose. They weren't just angry at Powell. So this whole thing is very ambiguous. But you can read this material here. It's a letter between Steele and Leaney addressing... Um, is probably this issue. But that's what you're walking through. And 
You should have a good reason for it if you're going to do it. The idea is they were going to get John D. Lee. So if you stay down low where this water is, and, and most of this Google Earth stuff, you see water in these uh, little creeks. I think this is the Virgin River we just came up to. Um, probably part of St. George. Anyhow, uh, you can see it's pretty raw. And when you get met by a Mormon, it gets much rawer.